Welcome back. Tonight in our missing series, a renewed search for a five-year-old boy named Michael Monkey Vaughn. We brought you his story for the first time last year, but tonight, the first national TV interview with both of Michael's parents and newly released photos of a man police say was nearby at the time of Michael's disappearance. Correspondent Marky Martin is joining us live, and Marky, you've been with this case for some time now. You traveled to Idaho last winter to speak with his mother, but now you've had the chance to speak to both of his parents. What can you tell us? Yeah, Natasha, so we heard from Michael's dad, Tyler, for the very first time this week. He was the parent who was actually at home at the time that Michael went missing. And today marks one year since that little boy, who is lovingly known as Monkey, walked out the door and never came home. We haven't stopped. Every day we have unfinished business, and I'll tell you that every day is an anniversary of the disappearance from Michael Vaughn. It's been 365 days, a year of searching with no answers. For the five year old Fruitland boy whose 2021 disappearance garnered nationwide attention and support. Hi. Last July, Michael Vaughn was at home with his dad and baby sister while mom was at work. Family says he walked out searching for neighborhood kids to play with. He went to a neighbor's house. He went to another neighbor's house and another neighbor's house. Last winter, Michael's mom, Brandy, invited our News Nation team to their Idaho home, walking us through her son's last moments there. He would have come out of the garage. Mm -hmm. um, the front door is pretty hard to get out of, and you can hear Why? that opening. Yeah. At the time, his dad Tyler declined to speak with us, but this week that changed. The couple sitting together for their first national TV interview. It doesn't feel like a year. It's been an eternity. Tyler, a lot of people curious why, if you were the one at home, why you haven't done a lot of talking with the media. What's your response to people who want to know that question? Because I was the one at home. I feel like because I was the responsible party. I, I don't like being in the public eye at all. And it's because I, you know, to some extent blame myself. For most of the afternoon, Tyler says Michael played with his monster trucks and Nintendo Switch, and that around dinner time, he ordered a pizza and went down the hall to change the baby's diaper. When he came back out, Michael wasn't there. Searched the house, searched the backyard, went out in the front yard, jumped in the van, called Brandy. He says he raced around the neighborhood and was the one who called 911. The Fruitland Police, Payette Police, and Payette County deputies and citizens searched through the night until support arrived the following morning. In the last year, more than 3,000 acres and nearby river have been searched. No suspects have been named, but authorities say they have persons of interest. Fruitland police asking for the public's help in identifying this man, seen in newly released photos, walking in a nearby park at the time of Michael's disappearance. And to this day, nobody has been cleared, including Tyler and Brandy. What do you tell people who say, do they know more than they're letting on? A lot of the speculation online is, is based in fantasy land. Law enforcement and God knows our truth and we'll stand firm and stand strong. Fruitland police confirming with News Nation the couple has cooperated with the investigation. <laughs> Today, so Michael would be six, his parents grieving another summer without him, a summer they say should be spent playing <laughs> and camping as a family. Right. Oh. Time for bed now. But but I still want to look at some stars. He is pure um, joy, love, excitement, <laughs> much excitement, energy, lots of energy. <laughs> you, you can't, you can't not fall in love with him. 
both Tyler and Brandy tell me they do believe that their son is out there alive. They still believe he's coming home. And Natasha, I asked both of them, what would justice look like in your eyes? Brandy's answer was if her son comes back alive and well, she could find it in her heart to forgive. Tyler said he just wants his child home. Legal punishment would take care of the rest. And I do also have to mention to this day, Fruitland police, uh, they have declined to go on camera for an interview with our crew since day one. Natasha. Marky, I can't imagine what these last several months have been like for this family. Um, can I ask, do Michael's parents fear the case going cold at this point? Uh, what is being done to keep his name and face on people's radars? Yeah, it's a great question. And actually, they do not fear this case growing cold. They say there's new tips coming in all the time. They're actually excited about some new technology uh, that's going to aid in some of the searches. And one of the biggest criticisms of this case has been Michael Vaughn never received an Amber Alert. His case did not fall under the criteria for the state of Idaho. It's outraged a lot of people. A lot of people think things could uh, be different if that happened. But also last week, Fruitland Police announcing they've teamed up, um, teamed up with the Homeward Bound program, which advocates for missing children. Starting in August, Natasha, there will be semi-trailers uh, crisscrossing across the country with his name and face on them. Okay, well, that's good to hear. Um, meanwhile, speaking of new tips, what else have police said about that newly released photo of that man walking by the home around the time Michael went missing? Do we know anything about him? Yes, yeah, so we actually don't know a lot in that pre, uh, uh, police press conference that was held last week. Uh, they said they'd be releasing those photos. They did a couple days later, and the police chief just saying, we know these are grainy. This is not a suspect or even a person of interest, but this person was walking near the splash pad area of a nearby park leading up to when uh, Michael disappeared. So they said they just want to find this person, have him come forward to talk to him, see if he saw anything. Maybe he saw something he didn't even realize he was witnessing at the time. They just want this person to come forward. Natasha. All right, Marky Martin, we certainly appreciate it. And I know that family appreciates you keeping their boy top of mind as well. Thank you. And if you have any information, of course, on the disappearance of Michael Vaughn, please contact the Fruitland Police Department at the number or email address that you see on your screen. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.